welcome back this is our second video of Java implementation in our attempt to solve the uh, traveling salesman problem using simulated annealing remember that the code is adapted from this website so you can go there and uh, find maybe more lessons actually on um, in, uh, on uh, artificial, artificial intelligence right so in the previous video we mentioned that we had two classes city and tour and we actually made use of, of this class called tour manager so here's what we are going to do we're going to use this class tour manager in the very beginning when we uh, you know add cities to our tour because as you know the idea of the travel salesman problem is that you have a list of cities or an enumeration of cities a number of cities you want them in a certain order so you can minimize the distance and the way we're going to do that is we by adding them to a java array list as you can see here so this is this class is going to be used in the very beginning when we uh, basically create and add cities to our list after that we'll be using the tour class so what we do here is we have an array list and then what we do is of course we create the array list object it's of type city as you can see and then we just add several cities to it or maybe we can return a certain city if we want at a certain index and then we can also get the number of cities by returning the size of the array list if you remember we did make use of this class when we uh, try to generate for example an individual right so what we do is we uh, make use of the list here we add several cities and then we want a random solution so what we do is we just randomize the array list right so as you can see in this create individual method which we spoke about this in the previous video what we do is we just fill um, the city I'm sorry we fill the uh, the the, uh, the um, we fill our tour with cities what we do is we loop through them as you notice here we can get the number of cities how many cities we have and then we loop through those cities one by one we call the method set city we pass it the index and we pass it the city that we want and we add it to we add it to that index basically after that we just use this uh, shuffle method from collections to randomize the, the, the cities in our, to randomize the list the elements of the list so we can get can we, we can get um, a random solution right or an individual okay uh, so that's the tour manager how it links to tour we will see how we're going to use it from the actual simulated annealing class in the next video the next class we have here is called utility and this, as the name suggests is just a utility class we have a simple method here to create the distance between two cities we pass it you know two cities and we get the Euclidean distance we get the uh, x coordinate of the first city the x coordinate of the y of the first, second city subtract get the absolute value we do the same thing for the y coordinates and then we just square them and then um, we square them add that up and then get the square root the usual way of computing the Euclidean distance uh, this method here is very very important this is the one we explained before when we said how or when to accept uh, the new solution if it's worse than the current solution and this is an implementation of the formula that we saw before let me find it on the slides yep it's this formula here we said we get the this energy of the current solution the energy now becomes our distance so the dis total distance of the current solution minus the energy or the total distance of the new solution we divide by the current temperature uh, and then uh, we raise that we get the exponent of that e to that power after that th that becomes our probability now and then we generate a random number we check whether that probability is larger than the random number and we accept the new solution accordingly as we explained before so this is just an implementation of that it returns the probability and then this simple method here generates a random double between 0 and 1 as you can see uh, we're going to use this to get this R and then the, 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 the one you see at the bottom here let me read so, yeah the, this random integer random int method um, returns a random integer within this range between min and max so max here is not ex uh, is, is not included min is inclusive max is not so if you want for example a random integer between 0 and 10 then you would pass 0 and 11 right max is not included 
Okay, so a simple another simple class. Um, what else? I think I'm going to stop here because in the next video I'll be explaining this simulated annealing class where everything uh, should make sense, where everything works together. So thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.